Hi, welcome to Bar Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic applications, and I kind of want to talk about the logarithmic scale. So what I want to do is I want to, I'm using Richter scale because it's the most common application because every jump on the Richter scale is a power of, it's an exponent of 10. So something that rates of four on the Richter scale is 10 to the four in strength. Um, and so I've started my ordered pair, 0, 1, 1, 10, 2, 10 squared, 3, 10 cubed, 4, 10 to the 4th, 5, 10 to the 5th, 6, 10 to the 6th, 7, 10 to the 7th, 8, 10 to the 8th, 9, 10 to the 9, and 10, 10 to the 10. That's a lot of 10s there. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to graph these. And so I'm going to do the Richter scale on the bottom because it's always good to make sure you uh, label your graph, especially your axes. And so this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And up here, because we have the strength um, with a logarithmic scale, Um, the logarithmic scale means each tick mark is, so this right here is 10 to the 0, which represents 1. This right here is 10 to the first power, so it's 10. This is 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 5th, 10 to the 6th, 10 to the 7th, 10 to the 8th, 10 to the 9th, 10 to the 10th, which means um, 0, 1 gets graphed here, 1, 10 gets graphed here, 2, 100, three a thousand and we start to see we have this what looks like the graph of y equals x what we notice is that it looks linear and when you take a logarithmic scale and graph it on um, a logarithmic graph like logarithmic paper you're going to get something that looks linear now I have another video where I did this same graph on a linear scale, and if you haven't seen that video, the difference is on a linear scale, the Richter scale looks very, very exponential since we go up by a multiple of 10 each time versus a logarithmic scale, which creates a linear model for a logarithmic application. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.